we're going to do today is we're going to um, have a look at how do you do a construction blower door test. So there are three services that, sorry, four services we can do under the NOCAN. We've got the basic service, we've got the uh, upgrade service, and then you've got your construction blower door test. So Steve today is doing the construction blower door test. So what he's going to do and he suggested is we're going to do a uh, positive pressure test first. And the reason for that is so we can find the air leaks and we don't do any um, sorry, my apologies, a negative pressure test first so we can find the air leaks because the house has been heated and we're going to use an infrared camera to find those air leaks. So he set the frame up first. This is a Retrotech blower door. We made sure that it had a reasonable seal. As you may notice, the cans were all um, in the minimum position as you were starting to set it up. And he's putting the cover over it um, to give us that airtight seal and then it gets locked into place. You may have noticed what Steve's done. He's done a bit of a rough fit first. You're getting close to the frame of the door. You fit the frame in without the cover over it, get it to the right size, pull it out, put the cover over it, put it back in, and then we'll lock it in with cams to give it a nice airtight fit. It's now fairly snug. Once he's got it pushed in, he'll watch as he'll take all the cams and he'll tighten those up and that'll lock it into place. running the outside tube that's the one that's going to become our reference pressure so that goes to the outside so remember that on a blower door we actually have um, two pressure gauges in theory running parallel to each other one is the pressure difference between inside and outside and the other one is the pressure difference between the um, the fan the pressure going through the fan which will give us our volume of air that's going out Just connecting the two tubes that go to uh, the fan. The edge you notice the red tube on the top, on the top left hand side, that is between the inside and the outside, and that gives us our house pressure. The yellow tube is the one that goes to the fan that will give us our volume of air that is being moved, or in this case, a what we call a fan pressure. The cups that Steve's taking out right now are where we can change the amount of air that that fan is moving. So he has selected a is that a C4, Steve? B4. B4. Retrotech's changed their numbers a little bit, so it's a B4 configuration with the uh, four cups out. Again, what he's doing here, he's running a, a negative pressure, but he's going to only run it to a relatively small number. Um, and the reason for that is to protect the building envelope because of the poly on the building envelope. So if you look at the gauge, you can see he's got to a negative 19. 19 and a half. So what we're saying there is that the 
pressure between inside and outside is minus 20 Pascal. With the CFM, we've got it set at CFM and that fan is moving 1015 CFM. Thank you. 